Hi guys, it's Donna. I got a super cute little tutorial I want to show you. It's a paper purse that I found and it's adorable. It's fast, it's easy to make, and I just had to come and show you. It's so cute. This is a paper from one of my digital collections and so it's not from a paper pad. It's it's a collection that I have in my uh, digital uh, stash so that's what I'm using to make my cute little purse today and it's an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper you don't cut it or do anything to it that's what you start with and um, it's a little clutch purse but it's so cute anyway let's get started so on the eight and a half inch side we are gonna score at three eighths which is the uh, tick mark right before the quarter inch mark. Again, that is three eighths of an inch. And then we're going to score at one and seven eighths, which is the tick mark right before the two inch mark. Again, one and seven eighths. We're going to turn our paper completely around, eight and a half inch side on top again. And again, the same score marks three eighths of an inch and one and seven eighths of an inch super easy huh and then we're going to turn it and on the 11 inch side we are going to score at one and three quarters of an inch that's our first score mark one and three quarters of an inch we're going to score at two and a half inches again two and a half then we're going to score at five and a quarter inches five and a quarter inches then at six and three quarters of an inch six and three quarters of an inch then we're going to score at nine and a half inches this is still in frame nine and a half inches and on this side our last score mark will be at nine or at ten and a quarter ten and one quarter and then hopefully you can see these score marks you've got the two smaller ones on this end and then you've got the one larger and the smaller on this end so we're going to turn this with the one with the larger and the smaller because this is going to be your top flap and you're going to come in at one and one eighth which is the first tick mark past the one and you're only going to score to this third score line down here one two and three and then again over here you're going to score at seven and three eighths which is the score mark right before the seven and a half and again only to the third score line down and that is all the scoring that you're gonna do on this piece on our next piece let me grab a little chunk of paper here Let's just do this gold piece. Okay, we got this piece here, and it is five and a half inches. Um, this is going to be for your strap, and I'm going to score this at one quarter of an inch, half an inch, and then again at one and... and three quarters of an inch I'm sorry I'm getting a little confused here and then I'm going to cut this off on the three quarter of an inch mark this again is going to be for our handle and I'm cutting on the right side of the score mark okay and that is all the scoring that we need to do so we can get rid of the scoreboard. 
sorry that's my chair um so let's fold and burnish all of our score marks this paper is so pretty and this little handbag's just adorable I absolutely love it And then we've got this one here. Sorry that camera holders kind of in the way. I can't see very good. Just burnishing all of our score marks. And then we're going to do a little bit of cutting fold this one and it's actually going to fold the opposite way the one that only goes to the third mark there so here we go let's do some cutting let's turn it this way so we can see better we're going to on the where the two smaller score lines are we're going to count into the second score line and we're going to cut up that score line all the way up to the fourth score line and then down here we're going to cut this piece off this is going to be our tab and then we're going to cut the outer piece off and i'm going to cut this one at an angle and then i'm going to wedge these pieces here That just helps it close better. So then on the same the same on this side, cutting up this score line, the second score line in, all the way up to the fourth score line, cutting off at the third score line, and then take the outer piece off because that is our tab. And again, I'm wedging these pieces. And then we flip it around to the other end. And we're going to take this piece off into the third score line and cut down to the second score line. And then we're going to cut that piece completely away. Cut all of that away. Just like that. And the same on the other side this is so easy you guys and it's so cute it's absolutely adorable there we go I'm just going to wedge this piece here a little bit all right oh I'm so sorry oh my goodness okay and then I want rounded corners on my flap so I'm going to use my corner punch here and I'm going to round my corners just like that. Let me get rid of all this, get it out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my little flap or my handle here. Uh, so it can be drying while we're putting our purse together. This is so cute. This is just adorable. I love this little purse. And um, I don't have any tape out here with me, so I'm going to have to use my glue. But this, I'm telling you, the glue doesn't work very good for the gold paper it leaves it wrinkled looking kind of shabby I think so I probably shouldn't have chose gold unless I had double-sided tape out here I knew better no I didn't yes I did but I wasn't thinking I'm sorry I'm sorry so 
there's our little handle piece of course I got glue all over it dunk on it it's no big deal because you take a little wet tissue or a baby wipe or whatever and that glue comes right off of it so not a big deal okay let's fold this little purse up first of all we're going to fold it these flaps are going to go in like this and these little flaps go over we're going to put glue on these little flaps and this flap here i think it's easier to just lay it down like this and put glue on it and i like the wet glue because it kind of gives you a little wiggle room and you know i need wiggle room so <laughs> Because sometimes I'm not as fast as I need to be. So, look. It's coming together already. It's so cute. This is such a cute little purse. It's just adorable. I love it. Okay, and I'm just kind of pressing my side or my pages down so they adhere good. And the same on this side, the bottom flap, and this little flap here, and this flap goes in, and on the bottom, and this one right here. Get it good and lined up. cute oh that's cute and then these fold in this one's going to fold over and in like this so it folds the box completely up look look how much rooms in there how cute is that fold this one over push these sides in fold this one in And then your flap comes over like this. Look at that. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to take this and just give it a little curve here. I'm going to bend these corner, these ends out like this. We're going to put some glue on there. And then adhere these to the top. And that's our little handle for our purse. Oh, this is so cute. Sorry, guys. I love this so much. It's so super, super cute. Okay, and then I've got these two pieces here because they are going to be my closure. You could poke holes in these and put brads on there. That hold them better, but the glue holds good. Once it, once it starts to dry... So, I'm going to use the white for my background. And I'm going to clip a couple because I want this to be sturdy. So, I'm going to put, put it in layers. And I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of... Clip the edge off of this one right here on this end. So I'm putting that one in the center. So if you guys don't tell, I promise I won't tell and no one will ever know. Okay. There. Good as new. How about that? And then that'll be good and strong when it's adhered. Probably shouldn't have used the gold. Ben's I'm using the silver here. Okay, and then I want to put the silver on top. And, well, that didn't work out. 
I think I want to use two of those to make it good and sturdy too. Then I'm just going to adhere these in the center of this. And then you can put whatever you want to, a little uh, button, cabochon, a, a, uh, I will probably make a bow and put a bow in the center of this. And then what I'm going to do, what I like to do is put glue on half of this. And then I'll use this as my closure and I just glue this to the bottom of the purse make sure it's centered best you can I just eyeball it glue it to the bottom only and then you can stick your uh, top flap underneath it and that will be your closure and you can see I got some glue on that and if you take like a baby wipe or just a wet tissue or something, that will come right off, that glue. So. Look how cute. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. So cute. Look at this. And it's got so much room in it. Look. Pull the flap up once it's dried. Open it up. Look how much room is in there. It's got a lot of room. You can put a lot of goodies in that little purse. And I like that it's got this flap on top that you can use to hold stuff in so it won't fall out. It's so nice. Isn't this cute? I love this little purse. And this was... The Paper Pixie is where I found this. The Paper Pixie online. Um, she's got a lot of cute little stuff. Um, does a lot of tutorials and things. But isn't that adorable? How cute is that? I love it. You can make it in solid cardstock. You could layer pieces on top. So make it a lot thicker and more sturdy if you wanted to. But it's so cute. You could fill that full of of ribbon or or uh, flowers or all kinds of things and send to your to your crafty pals super cute you could put some nail polishes or lip balms or something in it and give it to a daughter or a granddaughter for Christmas super cute lots of ideas and they're adorable so simple to make it was just a few minutes and it and it's made so mm -hmm. I love that about it too but I had to show you this because I love it you guys thank you so much for watching thanks for being patient with me um, I know sometimes I can be a mess <laughs> I'm so sorry but thank you so much I love you all bye now